Hey everyone, it's the Mayhem Minute. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter for WrestlingMayhemShow.com. And uh, this morning I wanted to talk a little bit about wrestling mindfulness. Uh, you know, some of you guys may not know the mindfulness concept. I have some clients that we talk about this a lot, so it's on my mind, and I think it's a really good topic, a uh, really good thing. I think a lot of people will have you stressed out. Wrestling fans need to look at. Um, as we often do, we're sitting there in the hangout on Monday nights, uh, a lot of the, from the wrestling mayhem show all over, all over the United States, Texas, uh, New York, of course, us in Pittsburgh. But, uh, you know, the biggest thing, and this has been said, and, and it's been a, the longest standing thing is it's just not fun anymore, uh, to do it. And, and I think it part, partly it's the company and some of the, uh, attitudes towards wrestling or attitudes towards what WWE is doing. Um, and I'm identifying some little things in that, you know, we're watching this and we're watching the big, uh, you know, last night as we record this, we had Sting join Randy Orton against the authority. Right. And it was like, oh yeah, this is a great moment. And then somebody, uh, unfailingly says, um, man, what they should do or what they should have done, or I hope they do this next. And, and, and I'm realizing we're not taking the time to enjoy what's in front of us. Um, I, I'm afraid as I don't know if it's because, uh, these guys are on podcasts and, and stuff. And so they're automatically analyzing stuff, or this is just something that happens when you've watched wrestling for so many years and work a little bit with it. Um, you know, or just become that big of a fan. You're just kind of super, super analyzing it. It's one thing for a Justin Labar to do that and to tweet that. And, and everything. That's his job, right? And yes, it is our semi-job here at the Wrestling Mayhem Show, um, but that doesn't mean we have to always be in that mode when we're sitting back and watching wrestling. One thing I would love to get back to, one of the things that we always talked about on the show was this idea of just sitting back and and taking in that wrestling, uh, you know, just just you know, enjoying what's there. No, WWE is not the greatest product, and no, it's not for you. Probably if you watch this video or listen to our podcast or our wrestling podcasts in general that are very analytical towards professional wrestling, you are the super fan. And guess what? You're probably not going away unless you do, and then you'd very much surprise me and the WWE at that point. Um, so I think I think when you sit there and watch Raw, and yeah, we do a wrap up show directly after, and that's where we can break down, analyze. I don't know. I, I think this should have been better, you know, or I think they should have done this. Um, but I think maybe this is a you know, I'm trying not to target just the people. This isn't just the people in our in our hangout. I mean, this is the internet in general, and we we have fun and we get snarky and we comment on Twitter and everything, and that's fine. But you don't need to read it. Um, I have the most fun with wrestling, including WWE, when I'm in a party of people that, you know, especially for these pay-per-views, they're just there to have fun. We're not tearing it apart. And um, I feel like we've had a great time at a pay-per-view. It's not the greatest pay-per-view. I want to pay 65 bucks for it. But guess what? None of us have to anymore. $9.99, I think, is a fine price to pay for what we're getting for WWE product and they're making money. So why not? And they're making money from millions more than just us. Um, you know, uh, this small, small fraction of us talking on podcasts about it. Right. And we're not going to swerve people one way or another. One thing we can do is expose those people looking to complain about John Cena to the Lucha undergrounds and the indie wrestling, pittsburghwrestling.com, um, and all those kinds of things and make it more of a mission statement for that, but still not forget about what brought you to the dance, which is the WWE in most, if not all cases. So, um, and uh, for more of this, you know, we had a really good conversation this past weekend. It's going to be on this week's Indie Mayhem show with Pedro DeLuca. He's a ring announcer uh, here, uh, a local with some of the feds within Pittsburgh, Cleveland areas, uh, uh, AIW, uh, WC, RW, or no, I'm sorry, FEOW. Um, and he says, you know, I hate the wrestlers that say, oh, I don't watch the stuff. It's like, well, they're the biggest guys. They're the ones that are going to potentially employ you if you're good enough and wanted, right? Um, if you're going to make a living at pro wrestling, um, you should pay attention, right? And, um, and, and for the rest of us, we should not forget that we started as fans. We're technically still fans. And you shouldn't think of yourself higher to, to a fan, no matter where you are. Talking about wrestling, in the media, on a podcast, or being involved in the company. So, 
So sit back, enjoy your wrestling. I want to say enjoy your wrestling and shut up. But uh, but no, I mean, but seriously, take a look back. And um, I mean, you're allowed to have an opinion, but, you know, let the moment sink in before you develop it. Separate watching wrestling and analyzing wrestling for a moment. Let's see if you enjoy it a little bit more. WrestlingMayhemShow.com. If you have any thoughts, hit me up at, at Sorgatron at Mayhem Show or comments to this video on YouTube or on the blog at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at SorgatronMedia.com.